you wish and it will be given to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Gospel according to St. John. Chapter 3, verse 6. What is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of spirit is spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we need the help of Holy Spirit to make ourselves acceptable to our Heavenly Father. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In our day to day life, we used to do, we, we used to have many failures. There may be many sins with our life. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 8 and 9. He who digs a pit will fall into it. A serpent will bite him who breaks through a wall. He who quarries stones is hurt by them. He who splits logs is endangered by them. We have to be very careful with our deeds and words. So, our heavenly Father, when our heavenly Father sent word of God, our heavenly Father wants to cleanse us. He wants to make our life new. He wants to take away all curses from our life. He wants to take away all the infirmities, all diseases from our families. So when heaven sends word of God, our heavenly father wants to make us new, wants to give us a new happy life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So, let us praise our, let us worship our Lord and let us pray for a new anointing. Please stand up. Let us worship together our Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Father. To Him be glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today we are going through the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 6. Take wives and have sons and daughters. Take wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage that they may bear sons and daughters. Multiply them and do not decrease. Yes. Today's subject is you must increase in numbers and not decrease. This is a golden path to prosperity. Do you want to enjoy peace in your family? Do you want to enjoy spiritual health? Do you want a prayer life? Do you want holiness? Do you like to have good future to all the family members? There is a golden path in the word of God. 
that is what written in book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 6 in good news bible we read like this go and marry and have children the first commandment marry and have children when i read this passage in the beginning in my ch childhood i was wondering why in the bible such a passage such a verse all are uh, all are inclined to marry so why again a commandment a word of god is instructing the people go and marry but uh, after years i came to understand that there are so many people on this earth they do not like to marry they just they, they want to be partners they don't like to receive the sacrament of marriage they don't want to be bound by the by marriage simply living together it is a sin according to the word of god our lord our heavenly father doesn't allow it so go and marry and have children after marriage certain couples uh, shared me that their first decision was that we need not have children for 5 years we, we we are planning to have children after 10 years or 5 years like that and after 10 years after 5 years after getting married after getting job after um, building a house prepared to have a child but they don't have now they are going here and there for treatment and for everything but no children and thus they came for prayer and for retreats like that so when we prayed upon them god revealed that they decided not to have children for years so when i asked them they shared they explained that in the beginning they together decided not to have child not have children in the first years of their marriage life it is not our choice all the children are gift of god psalm 127 verse 3 we have to believe this word literally sons are indeed a heritage from the lord the fruit of the womb a reward yes it is a reward Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So, book of Jeremiah 29, 6 says, Marry and have children. Let your children get married. So, when your children are of age, let them marry at their early age. Don't mix marriage with the job. Don't mix marriage with the house. Or don't mix marriage with the financial uh, situations. Marriage should be taken place in time. Our Lord has decided time. In due time, marriage should be taken place. So, you have to take care. Let your children also get married in due, in due time. You have to pray for that. You have to prepare, you have to, you have to prepare your children for that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why all this marriage should be taken place? Then the word of God says, so they also may have children. That is the intention of our heavenly father. They also, let them have also children. Again, you must increase in numbers and not decrease. Do we have, that's the uh, do we have violated this word? Is the number increasing or decreasing in our families? After violating this word, will there be God as king of that family? Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, our heavenly father is pleased with those who welcome children to their family. Hallelujah. 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 First Samuel chapter 16 verses 6 to 11. There 
Prophet Samuel was sent by God to the family of Jesse to anoint a new king, King David. And he reached there in the family of Jesse. And according to the instruction of the Prophet, Jesse called all his children. That is the context of this passage. Let us read, let us hear from the Bible. When they came, he looked on Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is now before the Lord. Yes, the, Jesse brought the eldest son. He was very nice. And Samuel thought, this would, this may, he may be the chosen one. But Lord said, no, 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 no. Yes, verse 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord does not see as mortals see. They look on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Yes. Likewise, Jesse brought all, her, all his sons except David before Samuel. Verse 9 says like, uh, verse 9 says like this. Then Jesse made Shama pass by, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Continue. Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel, and Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any of these. Samuel said to Jesse, Are all your sons here? Yes. This is a question from God to you, my dear parents. Are all your children here? Are all your children there in your family? At a particular time, it was David who was chosen to lead the people through the turbulent time. If King David was not there, what would have been the, the fate of the Israel people? Then think of Solomon, the son, the son of David, Solomon. It was in Solomon's brain that our heavenly father put the idea of Jerusalem temple. And also the people of God was fed very lavishly during the time of Solomon. If King David and King Solomon was not there, the history of the people of God would have been another one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Through a very complicated time, through a very complicated uh, stage, it was through David and it was through Solomon that our Heavenly Father laid the foundation for the people of God. So many wisdom, so many blessings were showered on this earth through King David and through King Solomon. Hallelujah. 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 And the history of the people of God was glorious because of these two kings. If Jesse he was not willing to accept more than two children, what would have been about King David and Solomon. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So our Heavenly Father is ready to give us a glorious time. But it is not through only one person. It is through different persons. So we need to welcome all the children into our family. First Chronicles chapter 25. There, Haman, a very, very highly blessed person, Haman, was there in the book of First Chronicles, chapter 25. Verse. He was a very nice, very blessed man. And there is a one sentence about Haman. What is that? 25 verse 5. All these were the sons of Haman, the king seer, according to the promise of God to exalt him. For God had given Haman Fourteen sons and three daughters. Fourteen sons and three daughters. Why God gave all these children to Haman? Is it to burden him? Is it to trouble him? 
Is it to take away all his happiness from his life? God gave all these children to Haman in order to exalt him. In order to make him great. Through the children, parents are honored. Dear parents, listen to me. Your life will be honored. Your life will be secured. Your life will be protected by your children. One day, I was doing a five days retreat in a parish. During the retreat time, I happened to meet with a young, young man. He was crying and he was weeping. He, he was taken up by sorrows. And I, I spoke with him and he said, no happiness in life. In family, everything is upside down. Wife is also, wife is very, very, uh, wife is very, very tough. He, she is not at all ready to adjust with the parents. Parents are also in trouble. They are always in tears. Seeing all these things, this young man was in bitter, bitter sorrow. So I prayed over this young man. And uh, I, I, I inquired about them before the Lord. And Lord said, there will be nobody to solve this problem. Because according to the plan of God, there was one person to, to give them happiness. But he, had, he didn't come to the earth. The parents didn't allow, to, uh, didn't allow him to come on earth. Then I said, I asked the young man, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Then he said, I am the only one. My parents are only one child and that is I myself. Then Lord said, the, the life of the parents, it will be in tears because Lord prepared one, one child to give them happiness in their, old, in their old age. But they didn't allow to, to come on earth. See, our Heavenly Father is sending children to our house and each one of them have their own duties. Every, everyone is born on earth with a heavenly duty. And there will be one who is in charge of the parents, who is appointed, who is uh, commissioned to give happiness to the parents. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We have to welcome all the children our Heavenly Father sent to us, sent to our families. So in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 28, after creating man, after creating all the universe, our Heavenly Father was so happy. See, he was taken up by, he was so happy with his creation, especially with the man and woman. And he wants to bless them with all happiness. So he came to them. He wanted to give them good prayer life. He wanted to bless, his, uh, bless them with the uh, gift of health. He wants to bless them with uh, all kinds of power and authority and everything he wants to give them. So he gave a, 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 a great blessing upon them. What was the blessing? The first blessing ever said upon the humankind. What was that? Book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Hallelujah. 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 The first blessing I ever said is be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. Now let us pray to understand the wisdom which our Heavenly Father uh, uh, gives us through, the word, through these words. Let us pray, O Holy Spirit, breathe upon us. O Holy Spirit, enlighten our minds. O Holy Spirit, enlighten our families so that 
all the dark all darkness may disappear from our families all darkness may taken away from our minds hallelujah 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 breathe upon me spirit of the lord as we lift our hands and surrender to your name most high i'm yielding to your spirit i'm walking in your love jesus we adore your holy Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Book of Jeremiah 29 verse 6. You must increase in numbers and you must not decrease. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. we proclaim you as our redeemer as our savior come to us lamb of god come to rescue us jesus lamb of god 